and we're in. Okay. All right, right, we're Sunday. We're still at the NAM show. There's that many products to see, and we're going to come back and, and see Adrian again, who did a fantastic RD800 demo for us yesterday. It was great. And he's going to take us through the uh, FO8. Now, as you know, obviously, uh, um, Jack Duxbury did a little bit of the FO6, which we had about, which we managed to release in time for the NAM show. Um, but obviously, it was difficult to do the, uh, the same sort of video, so because uh, obviously, we didn't know the product quite as well. Uh, the product's now in the domain, so everyone knows about it. And Adrian's going to take us through. We didn't actually see the, uh, the 08 when we were there. So they're just going to take us through that uh, so we can get a good idea of what the product is. Now this is, um, uh, as you know, I think about 12, uh, 1,300 pounds back in the UK. Uh, and I'm pretty impressed by it because obviously I know the keyboards, the RD 300, 300 keyboard. And X, yeah. You got it, yeah. So that's good, a great keyboard bed. And it's, it's going to talk you through some of the sounds and tell us where the engine has come from and stuff like that. Yeah. So Adrian, take it away with the Thanks same lot, sort of stuff as yesterday. Absolutely. So, uh, so yeah, the whole idea behind Workstation, I'll just talk quickly before I show you some of the sounds about workflow. Um, what we've done with our, wor our new Workstation here is uh, enable the uh, easy flow of music ideas from the instrument to the computer and then of back into the instrument so that you can perform live. So we have a 16-track sequencer in here, and the way people are working with workstations these days uh, is really coming up with little snippets of musical ideas, and then what they want to port it to the computer. And that's where the little hiccup has been in, in the past, is porting that idea to the computer. Not anymore. Uh, what we can do with our, uh, with our uh, sequence is we can export each individual track as a separate WAV file stem to an SD card. We can then plug that into our computer and work in our favorite DAW, right? Normally, we'd stop using our DAW, our, our workstation there, right? However, with this, we can use uh, USB audio and MIDI to use this as the, in, uh, the interface for our computer. But what we can also do is you can see here, there's DAW control mode. So if I turn on DAW control mode, we've got some built-in templates of Logic, uh, sonar, Cubase, as well as a user section where we can use the pads, the transport controls, the the uh, the knobs, as well as some switches to completely control our computer. Uh, and and again, we we continue to use the FA workstation once we move to the computer, which is fantastic. Now, moving live, we have an SP404 SX style sampler in here. That is the most popular sampler in the world right now, and. Uh, so what we want to do is utilize this in a certain way. Say now we want to bring the song that we've created on the computer live with us. Well, we can put that WAV file to the SD card, load it into the sampler, and there's our backing tracks. Now, we want, of course, to be able to play some sounds with that. So without further ado, I'm going to play some sounds that are derived from our Integra 7. There's over 2,000 sounds that are supernatural acoustic sounds, supernatural synth sounds, uh, V drums, supernatural drum sounds, uh, as well as PCM-based sounds from some of our legacy instruments like XV series as well as um, XP series and even Phantom. So check this out. This is our uh, our supernatural piano sound Lot of, a lot of fun playing that. Now, uh, when we start getting into uh, supernatural acoustic sounds, this is our classical guitar sound. Uh, listen for the little note slides and hammer-ons. That's supernatural happening. Did you hear that? that? That's supernatural. The instrument is intelligent and just adds that type of uh, articulation but underneath what I'm playing. Even little things like that. So things like strings, whoop, strings, here we go. See, marcato and legato at any velocity. This is supernatural. I don't have to think about velocity switching or anything like that. I just play like I'm a keyboard player, and things just happen in the background. Again, it's such an expressive instrument to play. Synth sounds. This is these are absolutely gorgeous. This is virtual analog modeling. Try not to kill your ears here, but here we go. Super smooth, 
no aliasing, no stepping, even in, in complex sounds like this. Make some booming happening here. Yeah. We try not to overdrive anything, but again, have lots of fun with that. We're talking about V drums. Check this out. You're the beater. The beater, you can bury that. Go into uh, other kids. Of course, classic kits like this as well. Couple more things. We have made it super, super simple for you to be able to layer sounds in here. So if you take a look here on our screen, Normally on workstations, it's been tough because we have so many layers and key ranges to deal with, and to do that live has always been really hard. But what we can now do is go into what we call dual mode. So now you can either layer sounds very easy, just move to the cursor to the part that you want to edit, and that's the one you're editing. If you want to split, hit split, and now you can split. Just move the cursor to the one that you want to edit. Now, if you want to, of course, you can layer more or, or split more than just two sounds. Just hit the two buttons, dual and split together, and you get into studio set mode. And that's where you'll see over 16 different uh, parts. And you can layer up to 16 different sounds, so you'll get beautiful sounds like this. So I'm going to try to play this here. It's, it's, it's an orchestral sound, and uh, you'll get uh, a breadth of how uh, expressive this instrument is. I mean, I can go through the whole John Williams catalog if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, the Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. Literally, yeah. Uh, just, um, that's great. I mean, just a couple of things. I mean, you look at the layout of the keyboard. It's very simple, isn't it? Yeah, You've got very, it's very well laid out. Mm -hmm. The sound engines, we talked about where it's, you know, where some of the engines have come from. What's the expand uh, expandability capabilities of this thing in the sense of so obviously we were used to Roland and expansion boards and stuff like that. How's yeah. that working? Well, we don't have to deal with expansion boards anymore. Uh, well, there is a website that we have that's called Axial. So A-X-I-A-L, A-X-I-A-L, that's it. Yeah. Uh, and you can visit that at axial.roland.com. And uh, we have great expandable sounds for patches for instruments such as Integra 7, the Roland Gaia, as well as the Jupiter series. The FA series will be added to that list uh, very, very shortly. So you can visit the website. And uh, However, it's a little bit different on FA. We can actually expand new wave data. Rather than just patches that use the internal wave data, we have inside two uh, memory modules that are just empty, waiting for sound goodness to come yeah. in. And uh, what we can do is, is, again, go to the website, download to USB stick, plug the U USB stick, and update those memory modules to customize the instrument to our own needs. Yeah. Right. So if we want to go more down the orchestral way, we yeah. can do that, or world ethnic, or electronic dance so, music. So before, basically, people have had to buy the actual expansion boards. I'm now getting them for free because the space is in the pudding. Uh, yes, from what I understand, oh, yeah. Okay. And I do hear a rumor. Okay. I do yeah. hear a rumor that uh, the SRX library will yeah. be coming to the FAs uh, in right. the coming months. Uh, maybe yeah. in the next little uh, you know so month. I'm not sure month. they're free, but certainly it'd be a cheaper. Download. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. who knows? They might just be fees. We'll you never see know. what happens. What the engineers decide. Yeah, and you decide. That's good there. So in the sense of so we talked about the, um, where the sounds come from. The Integra obviously is the major selling sound module, which has done really well for Roland. So, so how much is that? of that is there inside? Uh, again, the entire engine is based on the same thing. Right. Even when you go to down to the synthesizer side of things, uh, I, I do understand from what the engineers have told me yeah. that uh, some of the Integra 7 synth patches from yeah. the Axial website can be loaded in here because it's simply just patch data. Yeah. But when you do go in there, you'll notice that the synth structure is the same. Each mm -hmm. individual Supernatural synth engine is actually three tones, three oscillators, three filters, three uh, envelopes, uh, three LFOs. Uh, yeah, you can go in there and uh, and and really uh, 
uh, tweak the sound to what you like, and they're very, very similar to Integra. Sound. And the great thing is, obviously, it's got the RD300 uh, piano-weighted action, which is fantastic, but it's obviously the case, casing itself is quite light. So Absolutely. So you get weighted action, so it's not too heavy as an AC8. No, no it's not. And, and you can see I'm not the most hulking man in the world, and I can, I yeah. can definitely pick this up. Uh, and, and carry it. It's, it's such a joy to carry this for gigs, especially if you're a piano player needing so, those so sounds. So we're getting a great weighted action, mm -hmm. but it's not too heavy. Absolutely. Because really, when we're looking at it, you can do the, I'm not going to do the maths in my head now, mm -hmm. but you've obviously got the sampler, which has yes. got to be two or three hundred pounds worth. You've got the action from the RD3, uh, the RD300 and the sounds from the Integra. There's a lot of stuff in one package, isn't it? Very high value, absolutely. Yeah, that's right. so yeah. It's going to go. And it really got, I like the way they've done with the control, the integration with the, the DAWs, which is which is really, um, which is really where is you're right. What the problem has been, behalf it's been, it's a sequencer and a keyboard, and that's it. Yeah, and moving that, we've now made that movement from here to the computer and yeah. computer back really, really seamless. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's the, the product is great, and I, I mean the FO6, which we can just look down, which you know about, which I think we saw, which is just down here uh, on this screen down here, which obviously is a sort of. Uh, uh, the uh, sort of five octave synth version there. It's exactly the same sound source, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, the, same. So the only difference is the action. Is the action? Yeah. yeah fine. Which is, I think, about uh, eight fifty. I think. Um, but this is, I think, is the product which I think um, people will be looking at. I think it's great. Great. Fantastic. That's fantastic. Another Thank excellent you, demo. Thank you very this much, guy's guys. Great. Fantastic. <laughs> That's it. Thank you very much indeed. Cheers.